Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Stellar Tactics, shall we? Picking up where we left off, and well, it is indeed time to check out this elevator and see what happens if we go inside. I'm probably the best. Um, well, I guess we can't go to the bats, so we'll go to the crew deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are now on the crew deck. This is the primary living and working area split into two wings. I don't have control over any of the systems, so I won't be able to track you or even communicate with you once you leave the lobby. You will be on your own. I'm sure the labs are locked down since there are volatile bio, uh, just regular chemicals and bio waste. Parts of the living quarters may also be locked down according to the information I have available. Bio waste? Samples of tissue and fluids collected from colonists by me. We sample a cross section of the population regularly to ensure their safety. Colonists? Yeah, the passengers in the vats. Some call them sleepers. We analyze data and samples each shift. How do we gain access to the labs? I'd think a check of the living quarters is in order. You need to identify any survivors and terminate any of the infected if there are any. I'm detecting life signs in the labs and crew quarters. You should take care and do not hesitate to terminate any infected you come across. I'll put some thought into how we can gain entry to the lab wing. If I have any ideas, I'll be in touch if comms are available. The living quarters are directly ahead of you through the doors, and the research lab is just past the living area. Okay, sounds good. Remember, if you come across Dr. Jensen, you should terminate her on site. She's highly volatile. Okay, buddy. Um, here, let me select this guy to go first, and let's just kind of look around. Okay. He's got a sledgehammer. It's a good thing. And let's see what anything over here. Alright. Oh, there's a room. Group movement indeed. Um, these are the escape pods. I'm just gonna check it out, see if these open. They don't. Okay, so there's really nothing over here. Oh, there's a chest. Sweet. You love to see it. And, okay, there is um, a rare Halimus Duralite combat boot. Um, okay, much better than what I've got. It gives intelligence, dexterity, has armor, sweet, stun grenades, medium health packs, a gas grenade, and four frag grenades. We'll take everything. I'm going to go into our inventory here. And this guy's up front, so I kind of want him to wear this better boot. Um, the condition is light. Press spacebar to repair. Um, you can make this crew member your dedicated repair merc by selecting the portrait. A check mark will be displayed indicating this crew member will always be selected to repair equipment. Uh, I don't know if he's actually good at that. You can click again to deselect this crew member as the dedicated repair person. Note, if you've assigned a dedicated crew member to ship repairs in the crew manager, that crew member will passively repair damage to the ship over time. You can override this and manually repair ship equipment with the active dedicated crew member in your party while in ground locations. Okay, um, so who would be the best? Like, what are your skills? Are you even good at this? Um, I can repair it using these things. It's 91%, it's not the end of the world, but I am curious. Let's go to his character panel. And then, like, who is good at repairing? He has level 1. Nobody is good at all at repair. Alright, do any of these stats govern... Is it intelligence? None of these seem to apply... 
directly to it except for the ones that govern skills. Oh wait, they're color coded so there's yellow. There's like blue, yellow, and red. Oh, but these mean space out of combat and combat, right. Okay, um, never mind. Let's just keep going. Now, we have, like, grenades just in the bag, the group storage or whatever, so I don't think I need to really equip those. We'll find out the hard way if I do. Okay. Um, oh my god. I heard some terrible noise. It's coming up. Okay, phew. Alright, so there is... Uh, this is Jason Taft. Okay, so... Um, this is my first dude. Now, he's way too close, so I need to move away. Um, you can see how many action points it'll take. I'm going to move here. Oh, I did. I provoke an attack of opportunity if I try to move away. Okay, that's a shame. Um, can I just go with somebody else? No. I could pass his turn, though. I don't think I can, though, after I took some action. Um, I'm going to just provide a barrier, and then... Um, end combat, defend, and delay. Um, I don't have full AP. Oh, no, I did. I actually didn't do anything. Okay. Um, now, can you... You can shoot this guy. Oh, you have a sword, though. Can you hit him? I think she has another weapon, though. Um, yeah, she has just a rifle. Okay. So... It would be interesting. Can you hit with your knife? Yeah, you can. Okay, so she could still hit it, even though it's kind of far away. All right, great. Ooh, she crit it. That's right. Chop it up. Eviscerate. Refresh three. So it takes a little bit of time to refresh it. Okay. Um, I'll just end her turn. Oh, it's back to him again. Huh, I wonder why nobody else got a turn yet. Um, oh, you know what? I could just switch to, uh, do you have another weapon? Yeah, he has this pistol, which you can use in melee range, and it doesn't have a penalty. I'm not even bothering to shoot a specific body part. Okay, we got him. So I got knocked around a little bit, which is why I want to have this guy in the front, if possible. Um, does that green stuff hurt us? He seemed to have healed right there. Like, passively, he's getting everything back over time. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if I can change my formation for when I'm walking around. Um, combat, space combat, beacons. Hmm. Now, I understand combat. I was just curious about, like, some kind of... Like, I would like to put, you know, for example, the two melee people in the front the longer distance people, you know, in the back, but it's fine. Oh, we got another combat going. All right, where we see him? This is David Grabin. Okay, so up front we have her, and... Is there a way for us to know 
Looks like there's initiative over here. I don't know where he fits into this. Um, okay. Zero percent chance to hit with the rifle. Is it because of the line of sight is blocked by that? Okay. Then you know what? We're just going to um, wait. I'll delay. Now this dude, Hammerman, I don't think he can, he can't reach that far. If I switch over to his pistol, he can't hit that far either. So um, we'll just wait. And then it's back to her again, huh? Um, oh, there's two bad guys. I think then I'll move her out here. That's fine. Switch to this, and then I'm going to um, defend. And then this dude should be able to hit with his rifle if I switch. Maybe not. I guess maybe I'm out of range for all of that. I can snipe. Uh, I'll wait. Alright, this is the lady with the knife too. Here, why don't you move up here? Here, can you face like that way and then um I'm gonna wait or defend rather all right here they come they move really far okay all right hammer guy um, taunt. Alright, well that's kind of cool, but what if you just go up and hit with your hammer? That's a good shot. Yeah, you got it. That's good stuff right there, dude. Alright, rifle guy. 52%. Um, let me kneel and then snipe I mean we hit it but not for very much damage crazed you're fired all right um do you want to shoot this guy Mayhem. That's pretty funny. Nah, you don't need to do mayhem here. Switch instead. Um, switch over to this. You can go into snipe mode. And then... That's a good shot. Do it again. One more time, darn. Uh, you can defend, sure. Alright. Then, I don't see another enemy, so I'm going to switch over to the knife and, um, what is this? Eviscerate. Yeah, eviscerate this guy. Automatic critical. Crew quarters. Perhaps we'll find survivors here. Okay. Maybe we will. All right, we're going to go over here. Wow, look at these crew quarters. These are really nice. It's like carpet. 
Yeah. yeah. You could almost relax in that space. Looks like they don't have anything. I can't, like, search them. But as far as I can tell. Oh my god. It's blood. Oh no. They got to drop on us. Alright, it's our turn. Okay. So, why don't you just go on snipe mode? It's cool that you can aim, like, even on this. Like, you can aim for the head or the torso or whatever. There you go. Alright, why don't you come up and... I need you to... Uh, hit this guy. Oh, it's a lady. Candace. Get her. Get her. That's pretty good. Hammerman, can you get in there? Oh, yeah. Go out there. Can you get through? Not enough AP. Man, that's a shame. Alright, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to use that, or what's your other choice? Um, there it is. Ooh, they had something. This is a battery, okay, an energy cell, sure. Oh, they've got like an arcade game in here. That's pretty sweet. Uh-oh. Bad guy. Oh, no, this is a survivor. This is Roger Crayson. A man is standing near the doorway. He looks unkempt and a bit surprised. Who the hell are you? Where did you come from? And where did you get the weapons? I heard you take out David and Sarah. Thank you. An emergency response team. Confusion and surprise are replaced with hope. The man's posture seems a bit more relaxed as the sudden realization that he's been rescued settles in. Unbelievable. Fully equipped and armed to the teeth. It seems you could be useful. Useful? useful in the sense that you took out those shamblers once my friends gods what next one second we're sitting there having a peaceful game of cards and then next well two of my colleagues dead sort of i wonder what other secrets the senior crew are hiding your colleagues yes david and sarah not much left of either now thanks to you i should thank you though that seems odd considering they were my friends I've been locked in here for days, listening to them shuffle around, mumbling nonsense. I'm not right. Don't hurt them. On and on. I tried accessing this terminal to see if I could communicate with the rest of the crew. No luck. The systems are locked down behind some very heavy security. I'm lucky David kept a stash of water and snacks in his room for the weekly card games or I'd be a goner. Though I must say that I'm a bit tired of pissing in a bottle, so thank you. What now? Um... Do you know if anyone else is alive? Nah, I did hear some banging from down the hall two days ago, but that was likely my shambler buddies. If anyone's alive, they're in pretty bad shape at this point. Anything you can tell me about the situation? Okay, shoot. Um, the labs are locked. Do you know how I can get in? Right, well, I might be able to bypass the wiring, but considering how well things are locked down, I can't guarantee that's going to work. I do have an idea, but you're going to need to do the legwork. I'm staying here until this is resolved. What's your plan? Roger Crayson smiles and shifts his posture slightly. Before all of this, I was pretty good at hacking security systems. 
I'm a mechanical engineer by trade and a hobbyist hacker by night. In my nightstand in my room, you'll find a hacking tool. This device will let you hack most doors, lock crates, things like that. It doesn't work on computers. For that, you need an injector. I had one, but I broke it a few shifts ago. Couldn't find a way to fix it. Got it. A hacking tool in your room. Yes, bring it back to me. I'll calibrate it for you. With little skill, you should be able to bypass the lab security panel and gain access. Hurry back, I'm getting hungry. And Emma's corpse smells terrible. My room is next door. The key code is 3782. Alright, cool. So we now got the key code here. The door is locked. Here you go. I'm in. And he said the thing was okay. Oh, we got a hacking tool and a auto streamer. Requires big guns level one. Okay. So, wait a minute. What's this auto streamer thing? Um, kinetic damage. Well, I believe that he's good at big guns. What is his gun? This rifle. Oh, no, I switched big guns for rifle, didn't I? I decided to go rifle with his skills right. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go talk to the guy. All right, you found it. Yeah, it was right where you said it would be. Okay, let's calibrate it. This will only take a moment. There you go, all set. You should be able to access the labs using the tool. It's calibrated to bypass the door security. However, it's going to leave a log entry with your data in it. I assume that won't be a problem. That should be fine, thank you. Great. Be sure to drop by when this is all resolved. David left behind a nice bottle of Grooski here. I'd like to toast him and you when this is done. Meanwhile... I'm going to stay in his room and watch a few sins. Alright, hacking and log. Each of your team members has three device slots that can be used for all manner of devices that provide numerous beneficial effects. In order to hack keypads on doors, chests, and lockers, a hacking tool must be equipped in one of those device slots. If your currently selected team member has a hacking tool equipped in their device slot when selecting an object that can be hacked, the keypad pop-up screen that appears will include hack and auto-hack. Okay. Selecting hack on the keypad pop-up screen engages the hacking device. Once the device identifies the correct value for the first digit, the value will start flashing orange. You will have a very short amount of time to select that key. If you're successful, the hacking tool will repeat the process for each successive digit until all are entered. You'll have less time to select each subsequent key. You can use the mouse or the keypad. Okay. Your log screen can be accessed by pressing the L key or from the menu at the lower ed left edge of the mini game screen. Main game screen. The right hand side of the log screen holds information on active and completed missions as well as on log entries you have found. It displays the active rather than the completed mission objectives by default. Completed mission objectives can be viewed by pressing the completed button. Press the data button to bring up all of the log entries you have accumulated. Log entries are automatically added when you find them. These entries contain additional story information and in some cases passcodes to locked objects. The log screen also displays your current position in the universe and details on all systems in the universe once that data is available. As soon as you explore the universe or as you explore it, more data becomes available. You can select left click on any system for detailed information about the system's population, faction, and economy, as well as the planets and stations in that system. Once you have scanned system objects, scan information is also displayed. You can drag the screen to expose more of the available universe or use uh, up, down, left, right, in the lower left, the plus button will recenter the map on your current location. Okay, cool. So 
we were kind of talking about this in the YouTube comments that, that is this a space game or is this just kind of like you're in a space station but this is just the tutorial so you will get looks like right there as you see you'll be able to go out into the universe and explore more which is really cool medical bay laboratory cryo chambers that way okay um i mean do we want to go that way probably what's this more crew quarters up here Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can see, like, if I move up here, I'll be in... I'll be able to see them. But I don't think I'll be able to take a shot. I'll move up here. That's fine. And then... Um, well, I have a 40% chance, actually, to hit. Which is pretty good. I'll crouch. And then... Alright, we missed. So there's a little cover provided by this. I hit him. We'll just move up with this dude. Defend. And then you can move over here. And defend. I don't think you can actually hit anybody. Oh my god. That surprised me. Okay. Somebody jumped out from the side there. So, wait, oh, okay. Here, wait, what if I switch guns? Yeah, not guns, but knives. Get him. Dead. Heck yeah. That's a good shot. Man, she just did like stab, 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 shoot. Nice. Alright. Out of range? Really? I'm actually then going to delay. You should be able to easily hit this guy. You can. Greta. I guess it's a lady. And then we're back to... Um, I don't think I can actually hit because the line of fire... There you go. Pepper it. That's good stuff. Greta's coming. Oh my god. Oh, luckily she didn't hit us. Let's go back to the knife. Hey, Barney. I'm gonna stab you. Look at that. Her skill with one-handed melee weapons has increased. You're darn right it has. Here, go hit him with the hammer. Dude, hit him. What do you mean? Glanced. We need you to do some good work here.
Got it. Sweet. Would they drop some loot here? Battery. Worn martini shaker. It could be sold. Okay. Sweet. Well, I mean, we're exploring more. We're getting into a lot more combat. And honestly, I think we're doing pretty well, all things considering. Everyone, I hope you're still enjoying this game like I am. And I'll check you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.